We are here with Antonio Palaio. He is the only inker here at Disney. And last time we spoke, we actually painted a cell. This time you're going to teach me how to ink. And I remember you told me that it's actually really hard. Well, they, they say it takes about 15 years to become a decent inker. So tell me about this cell. Back in production days, this would be the Animator's Pencil Drawing. Since we produce fine art now, what we do is we still receive that Animator's Pencil Drawing, but we create a, a master out of it, and then we use this to create all 250 pieces. These are my instructions. They tell me what lines to do with what colors. Um, these are the tools that we use, and these are the same tools that were used back in 1920. We still use them. All right, so what do we do? So first thing, you're going to put your gloves on. Okay. And the gloves are for a couple of reasons. We don't want to scratch the cell and then it helps you glide when you're inking. So hold that stick with the left hand. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you hold the nib with that one. You're going to dip it in here and then uh, choose a line to do. And then you put the stick uh, by that line to hold it because the cell tends to bubble up. And then we go like this, right? Yes. And once you do that, then you start, you start inking. How long does it normally take you to create one of these? Um, this one will probably take about, about two hours and a half. All right. Classically animated movies require artists to transfer hand-drawn pictures onto transparent sheets called cells using ink and paint. Antonio Palaio began his career at Walt Disney Studios as a temporary worker. Mr. Palaio eventually earned a full-time position and now serves as an inker, painter, and head of special effects. Hi, my name is Antonio Pelayo. I'm an anchor at Disney Animation Studios, and you're watching Made in Hollywood. Um, check out this Pinocchio clip. Pinocchio? Why didn't you go to school? I was going to school till I met somebody. Met somebody? Yeah, a two big monsters with big green eyes. How did you know that you wanted to become an anchor? I actually didn't. I got a job as a temp at Disney when I was 19. It was supposed to be a five-day job. During those five days, I found out that they were gonna start an inking department. I talked to my boss, I told him I was an artist and I'd like to try out for the position. The next day, they tested me, I drew some, I inked some Winnie the Poohs, I passed the test and they hired me. I was the first inker they hired. And I was in that department for like seven months and then this department here needed inkers. They came over to us to test 30 of us and they picked me up. And then once I got hired here, the main anchor here took me under her wing and she mentored me. And then it, you know, it took me, I don't know, maybe like six months to get pretty good. Monsters? Weren't you afraid? No, ma'am, but they tied me in a big sack. A lot of people really want to work here at Disney. It's a dream job. Is it easy? It's not easy, no. I mean, I've, I've been here 23 years and I've gotten asked by thousands of people, relatives even, friends, or parents that have kids that know how to draw, and they contact me and they ask me if I can get them in here, and it's just impossible. The way to get in here is you gotta go to school, and then Disney does recruiting. Disney goes to those schools, and mainly it's CalArts, and they choose a group of students, and they bring them here to the studios. They train them for like six months, and then after the six months, they choose like three of them and that, that's how they get hired. And where was Sir Jiminy? Huh? Oh, Jiminy? Hey, uh, just leave me out of this. They put him in a little sack. No. What is a normal day of work like for you? Normally, I'm inking this whole week, and it'd be like this image here. I'll probably ink maybe like four of these pieces a day, and then the following week, I'm painting this same image. Painting was so much more easy and fun. <laughs> it's a lot easier than inking, but it's still difficult and you have to be fast because all our work is timed. I, they give me, okay, this piece, you can't go over two hours. So I have to stay within the time. What happens if you do? Then, you know, I get in trouble. Oh, look, my nose, what's happened? Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Perhaps. Oh, but I have. Would you say that on a daily basis, you have to work hard to continually succeed or at this Absolutely. point it's easy for you? No, 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 you have to. Uh, actually, um, they say it takes about 15 years to get good at inking. And I haven't been inking consistently for 15 years because 
once our department started shrinking, then I started learning how to do other things. I can run the camera, I can paint, I can do airbrush. So I'm always changing. So when I come back to inking, I have to like, you know, practice a little bit because I, I kind of lost it. What kind of skills or other personal qualities do young people need to really succeed in this industry? Patience and then work hard. Uh, I mean, I, ha I have a 20 year old son and he's been drawn since he was a kid and he's really good now. He's very good. And one thing that I told him is you need to draw every single day. And he did that for like, I don't know, 15 years. And now he's really good. Please, Your Honor. Uh, uh, I mean, Miss Ferry, give him another chance. Well, I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood.